Hello my friends, welcome to another video. Before we start today's video, it's my birthday and I want to have a little fun. So, I thought I would come on here with this cute little filter and say thank you for joining me. And I hope you enjoy this. Now this painting is something I personally wanted to do. I've been wanting to do a piece of abstract art for a long time, so I hope you enjoy it. I have a lot of little tips and tricks in there hidden for you, and I will walk you through it. So, happy birthday to me, and let's get started. So today, all of the colors I will be using are by Grumbacher. I have a Mars Black, Titanium White, Thalo Green, Hooker's Green, Payne's Gray, Thalo Blue, Turquoise Green, uh, Cadmium Red, Deep Hue. Then I have Alzarian Crimson, Vermilion, Burnt Umber, Raw Umber, sorry, <laughs> Yellow Ochre, and Cadmium Yellow. I couldn't see the label on that last one. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you how I use just some acrylic paints, a water color canvas. I'll explain that in a minute. Some tools just from around the house. Um, I have this cool paint roller. Thank you, Miss Christine. You can get this on Amazon. I will put the link for it in the description. Some, you know, random things that I pulled out that I may use, even a stencil. The most important thing, though, are a canvas, paint brushes, paint, and some water. So I start off spritzing the canvas with some water. Now, why do I do that? That just helps blend the colors together. I wanted to do like a, a galaxy type piece of abstract art. So that's why I chose the colors that I did. And I got the water color canvas because I'm going to be using a lot of water to spread these colors out. This technique here that I'm doing is very, very simple. You're basically just building a background. And what I mean by that is you can add different things to your background to give texture and create interest, such as using a rubber stamps stamp like I will today. I'm going to stamp that in certain areas to create a little texture uh, with the raised paint and a little bit of a different design in there. Um, you can use things like modeling paste, you know, swipe one of those combs through a patch of modeling paste. Uh, there are a ton of videos on abstract art, mixed media art, and I implore you to look into them because it really is a great art that you don't have to stress over. So what you're seeing me do here in this first phase is just adding a bunch of colors on the canvas, blending them together. And the thing I like about abstract art like this is like, you'll look at this canvas at one point and say, this looks horrible, where is she going? But it, it changes so much throughout the process when you start shading colors in and adding colors and altering things. So just watch the process, watch the painting develop. And trust me when I say, I think it came out pretty cool. Now, when it comes to paint brushes, you want to make sure you have the right paint brushes. There are paint brushes that blend paints. Um, there are brushes called mops. Uh, you got to do your research on what each brush does. But um, I like to use sponges a lot of time and blending brushes to just blend the colors together. Those are like my two favorite things to use. Please ignore the crying kitty in the background. He just wants a treat. So now I'm going to add in some of the green. I believe that was the hooker's green. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep working on this background with the colors for now.
So now I'm just taking my rubber stamp and painting some black acrylic paint on it. And I'm just going to stamp it onto the canvas. Another thing you can use to make some texture and that doesn't cost you any money if you have it is some saran wrap, aluminum foil balled up. Uh, you can use bubble wrap. You know, just use your imagination. There's a lot of things out there that we can use. So now I'm going to use this cool roller. I loved this thing. I just put some uh, acrylic paint on my palette there and rolled it through and created some sections of interest with this. A lot of this is self-explanatory, so I'm not going to yammer on here. I'm just going to let you watch and I'll be back when it's time for the close-up.
All right, so I'm just finishing up here with the, the shading, and you saw I drew in my main focal point there with a paper plate. So I am, uh, I, I really enjoyed making this, and I really love it. I love the colors. I love the splashes. I just, I really enjoyed doing it, like I said. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Use your imagination. When it comes to abstract art, there are no rules. You can splash some paint at the canvas or you can, you know, do an intricate piece. And there are so many videos out there that can teach you and give you some ideas. Pinterest is a great place for inspiration, um, you know, color palettes, all of that. So do your, do your homework, do some research and have some fun with those paints. We don't just have to wet them down and pour them on a canvas. You could do so much more with them. So let me know what you think about this piece in the comments. I want to thank you for joining me on my birthday today. All the information regarding the video is in the description below. And I would like to thank Miss Janet for sending me the beautiful birthday card. I love you all. And until the next time, happy pouring. Thank you.